So what are the four purposes of rapport? <laughs> and I'll just let you go where you want to go with this. <laughs> so we're jumping around kind of a little bit here. And again, most of this is sales related, but... So when we're talking about sales, you usually hear like you have to have rapport with your customer. You have to have rapport. You know, you want rapport, you know, to communicate. And here's the problem. Most people don't understand rapport properly. Okay. Most people understand rapport or have viewed it as commonality. Okay. You know, and you go through a lot of sales training and it's like, okay, so... Oh, like you came from small town Saskatchewan, I came from small town Saskatchewan. You know, you have a son that plays softball and I got a niece that plays softball. You know, oh, you like going camping out, you know, out west? Yeah. You know, we go camping out west and trying to find that commonality. But one thing that commonality does is it, well, it makes us common and it actually doesn't, it can separate us from being the expert. You know, there's certain fields and certain industries that we don't want necessarily. We don't expect the commonality. We want to talk to an expert. Right. Yeah, I go to the doctor's office and I got a problem. I don't want to talk about what we all have in common. I go, here's my problem. Let's fix it. Right. Good point. You know, I don't want to just kind of chummy chum. Like, can I trust you? Do you know what you're talking about when I'm talking with my lawyer? Right. You know, I trust him. I trust Caleb. I know what he's talking about. But I, I don't, so I don't need to have that commonality. I just need to trust him as the expert and, and come to it. And, and so in sales, we often focus on the commonalities we have with our clients rather than establishing that expertness. So really rapport is characterized, you know, by agreement or a mutual understanding, connection, you know, or empathy that makes communication more possible and easy. So having rapport is really having a mutual connection of understanding. And I can have that with somebody that I have almost nothing in common from <laughs> or with. You know, there's lots of times where I've done business as the seller or as the, as the, the client where we got nothing in common. However, there was absolute rapport okay. because I trusted them as an expert, okay. knew they had the solution to the problem, okay. and, and I trusted their, you know, their product. So when you're, the, your, your initial question, what are the four purposes of it? Well, first of all, that's what it is. And then the purpose is, first of all, is just to make that instant connection. So you want to make a connection with somebody. Again, you want to be seen as the trusted advisor and the expert, you know, and you want to maintain and you want to build that certainty and, uh, and you want to uh, then also just kind of see yourself as the leader okay. in the conversation. And so that rapport is really a deeper connection of understanding and, and how we gain that rapport is through connection not just through, you know, oh, you like boxers? You know, I've got a boxer. Right. So what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it might be a nice little chit chat to break the ice, but what is that having to do with succession planning? Right. You know, is that actually gonna move them to the place of, uh, often now what commonality will do is it will create and it will help you make friends. <laughs> <laughs> But there is a lot of people that I've, you know, as, and I started my career like that in sales. And as I was working, as I worked with small businesses, you know, where they go, yeah, like we had a great time, you know, everything was, we were clicking on all cylinders, you know, we went and, you know, we had a coffee and, you know, we chatted for an hour and a half and then they went and bought somewhere else. And it was probably because we spent more time focusing on the commonality than the true rapport of setting up yourself as the expert really speaking to the problem and rather just just focusing on that commonality and that's one of the biggest one of the biggest shifts that I see in working with salespeople is that mindset shift from now if you have things in common great but that's definitely not the focus the focus is shifting them from uncertainty to certainty and that typically isn't going to come because you have something in common so I guess 
irregardless of what industry you're in, when you're approaching quote unquote sales, going into it with that slightly different mindset of, you know, because new clients come in here all the time. Yeah, maybe you look for some of those things that you have in common. Okay, some guy is coming in here, he's starting an oil field business. Okay, well, I worked in the oil field 20 some odd years ago. I can relate a little bit there. But at the end of the day, he's not in here to hear about my oil field stories <laughs> from the early 2000s. He's here because he's got presumably some sort of accounting or tax issue that he would like to get resolved. It's probably nice that I can understand his situation, maybe more so than someone that hasn't been in that industry. But at the end of the day, I should be focusing my attention on those three things, expert, delivering that solution and providing that trust. Because some of that will cut you off. Some of that commonality can help establish you as the expert. So you're right. not only the expert in you know, in all things taxes, <laughs> you know, but you've got an understanding of the industry. Right. And all of a sudden he's going, oh yeah, well that's, like, that's cool. The other guy, he, he, he didn't even know. Right. What any of this he didn't know what any of this <laughs> stuff was. So that can all be part of establishing ourselves as the expert. Um, but it needs to be done with intention. Gotcha. That we're, 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 we're building those things, using some of those commonalities, but we're not just parking on, 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 those, on those common things. Gotcha. 